technically not mine, but the person who owns this wants me to keep it safe by keeping it on my shelf. It's Minecraft. This is technically my sister. She got it for her birthday. Um, it's on the it's the PS4 version. I played a little bit of Minecraft. Um, it's one of those games where. I'm not really the big fan of the popularity. The popularity kind of steers me away. But then when I actually play it, it's actually really fun. <laughs> it's basically like almost any other survival slash creative game. It's, um, for survival, you, um, it's basically a survival game. And creative, you can basically build whatever you want. It's great. It's amazing. Don't hate on this game because it's popular it's actually really fun so if you ever see minecraft please give it a tr please give it a chance you will not regret it anyway next up is this giant ass slice of pizza <laughs> i didn't take a bite out of that pizza just so i could do this skit but anyway next up would be sack boy a big adventure uh it's basically like a 3D Little Big Planet game, except you can't make your own levels, which is kind of disappointing. But I mean, it has very great platforming goodness. <laughs> and this game, as well as Super Lucky's Tale, proves that you don't have to be Nintendo to make a stupid Nintendo game. <laughs> no, 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 no! I'm kidding. Nintendo's amazing. Their games are amazing. It's just a Scott the Waz reference. <laughs> But no, this game is really fun. If you like platformers, you like this game. If you like Little Big Planet, you'll probably like this game. If you like fun, multiplayer goodness, you'll like this game. Just roll with me on this. You'll like this game. Next up is another collection. Uh, Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Also, it has this for some reason. I don't know if you can tell, but... Papers falling off for some reason. But this includes Uncharted Drake's Fortune, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, and Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. Uh, I've played the original two. I played the original two and three on PS3, but. And I was actually able to beat them, but I haven't. But I've played the first one pretty much the most, but I haven't beaten it till I got this. It also includes exclusive access to Uncharted 4 A Thief's End multiplayer beta before the game came out but I played the multiplayer after I beat the game but uh, yeah this game it's honestly if you like the Uncharted games you'll like this game I'm not gonna lie that if if you want to play the three Uncharted games again, you'll like this game. I won't deny that. But it's basically just the three games again on a new system. Not that that's a bad thing. And Uncharted is definitely one of my favorite series ever. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Next up, we're moving on to PS3 games next, for some freaking reason. Because I thought it would look nice on my shelf, and I'm, and I'm going Scott the Waz in my game collection. And he has his PS4 games and PS3 games together. Because he thought it would look nice. But next up would be Battlefield 4. I don't remember how I got this game. I think I just got it because Jacksepticeye and a lot of other popular YouTubers played this game. I just don't remember where I got it. <laughs> also, it says that I can get the PS4 digital version of Battlefield 4 for $10, but it expired like seven years ago. <clears throat> but anyway, this game, um, I'm kind of stuck in part of the campaign, which is kind of the only part I can play. I've seen the online, but that's pretty much it. And even on easy, for some reason, this game is really hard because I'm stuck near the beginning. 
and that's really weird. But anyway, I guess if you like first-person shooters, then I would definitely get this game. Whoa! Battlefield 4 turned into the next game we're about to talk about, Just Cause 2. This is my second favorite Just Cause game, with Just Cause 3 being my favorite one. Yes, Just Cause 4, like I said, it wasn't really that good to me, so... It wasn't really that good or interesting to me, but then I got just and then I got Just Cause 2 because I really wanted Just Cause 2. I want to get all the Just Cause games because all of them are really fun, even including Just Cause 4. Um, and this one is pretty fun. My favorite part of this game is, ironically, my least favorite part of of Watch Dogs, which is getting which is getting chased by the authorities. Whenever I jump into the game, all I can think of is, hmm, what do I want to do? Wait, what am I talking about? I want to be, I want to get chased around by the bad guys, of course. And yeah, when it comes to that, this game is really, really fun. I really like this game, and it's really fun. But there's nothing really for me to do. Maybe I should do part more of the story mode first, but yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, this game is interesting, I guess. But, definitely get it if you like Just Cause. Now we're going to go in rolling into the Wii U games. This is a game that I got when I was in Cooperstown, ironically enough. I'm missing all the pieces for it, but I'll find them. Lego Dimensions. I played a few, I played like a few minutes of this. Um... Because I was actually able to, and it's really fun and really different for a Lego game. Um, I know it's kind of like jumping on the bandwagon of Skylanders, but whatever. And I've never actually played Skylanders, but this game, this game, this game, I'm okay with. This game, I can roll with. Definitely get this if you like Skylanders or Lego. Next up is a game that people don't really like very much, but was the first game that I ever played on my YouTube channel, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. People say that this is a bad game, but it's kind of hard to say that with so little content, with when it has so little content, because I personally like the game. I think the game is really fun and cool and neat. But the main reason why I got this game was because of Mario Tennis Aces. I really like Mario Tennis Aces, and I thought this game would be kind of similar, and it kind of is. I thought it was. But anyway, yeah. D even disregarding Mario Tennis Aces, if you want to look for a fun tennis game, I found you a fun tennis game. It's called Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Right, and now moving on to the Wii games. This is a game I wanted to get my dad... Because he really likes the Donkey Kong Country series, Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii. I I wanted to get him the 3DS version, but um, I couldn't find the 3DS version. But the reason why I wanted to give him a 3DS version, the 3DS version, was because he has a new 2DS XL, and I thought um, he would prefer that version a bit more. But <clears throat> oh well, I got the Wii version. I think this is around the same time I got a uh, CT. Not not CTR. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe and uh, Super Mario 3D World with Bowser Fury. Um, <clears throat> if you want, if you like Donkey Kong Country, I would definitely recommend this. If you like New Super Mario Bros., I would definitely recommend this. <laughs> this game, I guess, is like the best of both worlds. I know I prefer playing it with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Because of because that's kind of the best the Wii Remote the the Wii Remote by itself isn't that good it's kind of <laughs> yeah I don't really like it with the Wii Remote I prefer it with the nunchuck but this game is really fun if you like platforming games if you like Donkey Country game Donkey Kong Country games if you like the new Super Mario Bros series this game is for you. I can definitely guarantee that this game will be for you. Seriously, get this game because it's phenomenal.